here tonight would solidify his claim of being the WWE's top star. CM Punk cannot match strength with John Cena. I don't know how anybody could. He has to continue to use his head if he's going to get ahead of John Cena. There's no doubt CM Punk is a great technical wrestler, and of course he claims to be the best in the world. Well, he's held the title for 300 straight days, Cole. That might just make him the best in the world. That kick almost took his head off. Let's not forget, King, at the same event last mm. year, John Cena defeated Alberto Del Rio to claim the WWE title. No, you're right, and if Cena can capture the title again here tonight, it'll mark the beginning of his 11th WWE Championship reign. Oh, CM Punk is at the top of his game. He's never looked better, and he's fighting for something he believes was taken from him, and that's respect. Punk doesn't understand why Cena gets three feature films, or why Cena gets on television shows, or why Cena gets the top spot at WrestleMania. It's because John Cena has worked hard to earn the respect of our fans. I don't disagree that Punk also deserves respect. I just think he's going about it the wrong way. Well, the bottom line, according to Punk, is that he believes he has earned more respect than he's getting, and that's why he's so mad. And here's Cena. Cena going for the AA. Going for the AA here. Oh, but look out. CM Punk has the ropes, and... What's he going to do here? Whoa, look out, Punk! Oh, out on the floor, hard! And now the key is, what does Cena do? The referee has begun the count on CM Punk. John Cena. Uh-oh. Cena! Cena's not going to do this! Incoming! And Cena launches himself through the ropes and takes out CM Punk. Yeah, Punk landing hard on the, on the mat. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> look at Cena. Yeah, Heyman, you can't see me. Remember back to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view in 2011? That was the night CM Punk defeated John Cena, won the WWE title, and walked out of WWE. Oh, you're right. It was a night that changed the entire complexion of the WWE as we know it today. It was in CM Punk's hometown of Chicago. And since then, things have really gone to CM Punk's way. A very vocal WWE Universe here tonight, as they always are in matches with the polarizing John Cena. CM Punk has called Boston's John Cena overrated, overhyped, and overstated. Punk claims he's better than Austin, Rock, and Shawn Michaels. And, of course, he also claims to be a better talker, brawler, and technician than any of them. Although it doesn't look that way right now. Paul Heyman looking on from ringside, and again, nobody knows what his relationship with CM Punk is all about. Well, you got to remember, in 2005, nobody wanted CM Punk I, there except I, Paul Heyman. I, nothing hasn't showed Paul up Heyman yet. Guy. There's certainly some history there. Lucas Press. He does it again. He anticipated that move perfectly. Whoa! He's measuring. Oh, look at this! Punk's got Cena! Oh, oh. sleep! Punk! That's it! Gonna put Cena oh, yeah. away! Cena kicks out! I think what? you're right. That Punk's supposed to move. John Cena kick out of that? We'll see what it says. A picture perfect! GTS delivered by that man, CM Punk. Yeah. And somehow, Cena survives. Look at Punk! Is he praying? Is he looking for some kind of divine intervention? He can't believe it, mm -hmm. neither can I. Boy, CM Punk is frustrated. He can't wait for Cena to get back to, back to his feet. He wants to finish Cena off again. Here we go. Look at the rock bottom. The rock bottom from Punk to Cena. And now Cena kicks out. It's been time for Punk to finish off Cena, but it just hasn't happened. <laughs> he is slowly getting dissected. A lot has been made about whether CM Punk has turned his back on the WWE Universe. What do you think? Well, and just looking at the facts, this is Punk's first main event since December, despite holding the title for over 300 days. 
I might be a little upset too if I were in his shoes. CM Punk's current reign as WWE Champion is the 10th longest in history. We all give that athlete the recognition and respect it deserves. I just think that Punk may be overreacting a bit. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Man, this has been an incredible match, King. Absolutely incredible match. What's Cena got in mind here? Placing Punk up on that top rope. Oh, but no, Punk fighting back. <laughs> It has been so even since the beginning. Back and forth we go. Now hey, see oh. oh man, superplex. Shoulders down. He got him. Cena I was right. John him. Cena won. What a victory for John Cena. Here is your winner and new WWE champion. Yeah, it does. John Cena. A big suplex off that top rope. Punk landing right on the back of his head, and look at this! And listen to this crowd! What a moment! John Cena with the... Wait a minute. What is the referee doing? Ladies and gentlemen, both competitors' shoulders were on the map for a count of three. This match oh yeah, both competitors was... I remember this match now. Your WWE Champion, C M Punk. You gotta be kidding me. What? Both competitors' shoulders were down for a count of three. Oh! I'm, a, I'm in shock. I can't believe this. CM Punk, after a draw, is still the champion. Some men hunger for change. CM Punk is WWE Champion! This is the new face of the WWE. CM Punk stole the voice of the WWE. Some men hunger for glory. This title is where it belongs. And the fact that I gotta sit on the bench for a little while, quite frankly, it sucks. Some men hunger for respect. Now I command respect. respect. Enough! I would like nothing more than to go to Hell in a Cell to compete against you for the WWE Championship. And then I look at Ryback, all he cares about is kicking somebody's ass. Oh yeah, this is the one match coming up, I think, Hell in a Cell match. No, yep, it's Ryback versus CM Punk. Hands are getting hands are getting tired. I didn't know it was gonna be this long. I'm having fun though, Ladies but gentlemen, this contest just can't, one just can't wait to get done with this mode where I can let my hands rest for a bit. And will be contested inside Hell yeah. in a Cell. Introducing first from Sin City, weighing 291 pounds, Ryback. And his opponent. I know I'm, I know I'm going to be playing as Ryback, I just know it. From Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 218 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, C. M. Punk. The rules of a Hell in a Cell match. You can only win by pinfall or submission. 
The fall can take place anywhere. This is the 26th Hell in a Cell match, and the first since perhaps the greatest one ever at WrestleMania this past year between Triple H and Undertaker. The cell was introduced yep. 15 years ago this month, and this match has changed men. It has cut short careers, and in turn, has made the legends. Yeah, Tim White, the referee, never came back from simply refereeing a Hell in a Cell match. Oh! King, did you see that? Oh, man, it doesn't get much closer than that. Uh, hey! Wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. Damn, man. There's another huge shot. Oh gosh, I guess if you feed him a pretzel, man, then you'll be good. The first time a championship changed hands inside Hell in a Cell was back in October of 2009. As and a damage punk, remember, who lost this title that night. then I have to do the shell shock and I get my nuts kicked. Yes. Now back under the ring, looking for another object. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. And again, he gets struck with that object. And I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. What a week it's been for Ryback. Back on Monday, he defeated former WWE champion The Miz on Raw. And on main event on Wednesday, he beat former world champion Dolph Ziggler. And we saw manhandle CM Punk as we went off the air on Monday night. Yeah, but Ryback has never been in a cage match, and he's certainly never been in Hell in a Cell. It's sink or swim for this beast tonight. Oh, some of the most jaw-dropping moments in WWE history has taken place inside Hell in a Cell. Who will ever forget June 1998 when Undertaker literally threw mankind off the top of the structure and threw the announce table below? You were sitting there. Oh, I thought he was dead. And just a few months before that marked the first time we laid eyes on Kane when he tore through the cell to confront his brother, The Undertaker. And speaking of Undertaker, many consider his WrestleMania 28 encounter with Triple H to be the greatest Hell in a Cell match of all time. Of course, the referee that night, Shawn Michaels. How can you keep Ryback down? That's what CM Punk has to solve right here. Perhaps the try to. Will help. Everything's illegal here inside the cell. There are no disqualifications. Well, these men have nowhere to go. And of course, they can use the cell as a weapon. If I'm Punk, I'd use that steel to try and minimize Ryback's great strength and power advantage. King, you mentioned earlier that there were rumors swirling about CM Punk being scared to get into the cell with Ryback. Do you believe CM Punk is scared? Well, 343 days as champion says you're not scared of anything. I'm willing to bet that CM Punk learned a lot in his first Hell in a Cell match against Undertaker in 2009. That might give him some confidence. I don't see any confidence in CM Punk. We've already seen Paul Heyman earlier tonight lobbying on Punk's behalf to get this match. Goldberg must be. It seems to me that Punk is very anxious and apprehensive to be in this environment with a 300-pound animal. CM Punk has had an incredible title reign, but it looks like it may end at 343 days here tonight. King, I think it's safe to say that day 343 of this title reign has been the worst for CM Punk. Yeah, and it looks like Paul Heyman agrees with you. Heyman is helpless. There's not much he can do to help Punk from outside the cell. Oh, this city of Atlanta has one of the richest histories in all of sports entertainment. Of course, Atlanta played host to WrestleMania 27 in 2011. Shell shock. Here we go. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, and what the hell? The referee, Brad Maddox, is. Hey, look at this. And right now, a quick count. I can't believe what I just saw. Ryback had this match won. Oh, boy. And now Ryback is after Punk. And oh, into the cage. And you blame him? That crooked referee, Brad Maddox. Just cost Ryback the title. Well, Brad Maddox, I'm afraid, is going to get his. Payback is hell, Maddox. Oh, man, oh, man the meat hook. Okay, Brad Maddox is going to pay. Still can't figure out what Brad Maddox was thinking. Well, he won't be thinking after this. Oh! 
Look out! Look out! 